team, this is Chris Saber I'm from GoMath, here to do number 20 on the General Curriculum 03 practice test. This is all part of the Harvard Square MTEL Math Workshop series, so you can catch up the first 20 videos um, that are on this test online. But definitely uh, take a look at this one and let me know what you think, okay? Number 20, the expression 5 to the negative 8th power, power times 7 to the negative 9th power is equal to which of the following? And then it gives us a bunch of, bunch of answer choices. Just by looking at this, because there's really not a lot of words on, in this question, I'm seeing right away it involves not only exponents, but negative exponents. So we're going to have to make sure that you have a, a grasp of exponents and negative exponents. And then we're going to look at these answer choices. There's some of these answer choices we can eliminate right away. But first, let's go over exponents. Let's address this um, because it, is, it has a couple rules that are really important to know. When I have two values, like a to the second times b to the second, and these, the portion, this is called the base, and this is called the exponent. When the exponents are the same, like the 2 and the 2, I keep the exponents I keep the exponent the same and I just add whatever a plus b is together. So what would that look like? You're like, ah, I have no clue. What if we had 2 squared times 3 squared? I follow this rule. I keep the exponent portion the same and I multiply the bases. So this is the same as 6 to the second. Now that would be 36. If we wanted to test that out, this would be 2 times 2 is what? 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 3 is 9. And that would equal 36. That's our first rule. Let's look at another rule. Very important rule. When our bases are different, and when our bases are the same, but the exponents are different, Call this b, and you're multiplying. You always want to. You're always thinking about multiplying them. When it's like this, I keep the base the same, and this time I add the exponents. So that's like if this was, I don't know, two to the third times two to the second. I guess I would have to be a different value, but anyways, uh, say it's two to the I don't know, 2 to the first, make my life easy. Um, then we would keep the base the same, 2, and I would add the exponents. So that would be 3 plus 1 would be 2 to the fourth. 2 to the fourth is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 16. Now let's look at this. 2 to the eighth, 2 to the third is 8 times 2. 16. When the bases are the same, you keep the base the same and you add the exponents. Now, there's another little strategy. We'll get to it when we do the problem. But let's talk about negative exponents. A negative exponent, like a to the negative first, can be represented as 1 over a. Or if it was a to the negative second, be represented as 1 over a squared and a to the negative third be represented as 1 over a to the third. Okay, so now how does that apply in real life, real, real numbers? If I have 2 to the negative first, that's the same as 1, get rid of the negative sign, and just drop the number down. So let's look at negative 2. What am I going to do? I'm going to take that full value, put it underneath the denominator, get rid of the negative sign, and put it all over 1. Let's do it again. 2 to the negative third, I put it all over 1, drop the negative sign, and I get my value. Now let's start solving this problem. Because we can go on and on with the exponent rules. Those are just three. This is 5 to the negative 8 times 7 to the negative 8. So guess what? 
I'm first going to deal with the negative exponents. That's like saying, remember, I'm going to put this whole thing over 1 and get rid of it. So that's like saying 1 times 5 to the 8th times 1 over 7 to the 8th, uh, 7 to the uh, ninth. Or we could write that as 1 over 5 to the 8th times 7 to the 9th. Right away, when you see negative exponents, you should be eliminating you should be eliminating ones that don't are not placed one over the value, right? Because you know the quickest way to do this when you see negative exponents is to eliminate those ones that don't put this whole thing over one. Like a and b, immediately get rid of the negative sign and put it over one. So we'd stick with a and b, and we chuck c and d. That's our fourth. Okay, fine. But how do I deal with, um, if I just focus in on this portion here, how do I deal with 5 to the 8 times 7 to the 8, Chris? Because, Chris, you just said I could use these rules, but the bases are not the same and the exponents are not the same. Well, that's true, but you can do something. You can take this value here, and guess what we're going to do with it? going to break it up. We're going to turn it into 7 to the 8 times 7 to the 1st. I know what you're saying. You're saying, Chris, that is so sneaky. It is kind of sneaky. Now take that piece. Let's, let's, get, let's take this piece. Let's take it. Move it. Oh, can't move that. Let's try that again. Take this piece. Move it over here. Move it over here. Grab this piece. Move, oop, grab this piece. Move it over here. Oh, I forgot those. How am I going to get those? All right, let's buy a chart one more time. Oh, nope. Didn't want to do it. Wise guy, hey? Eh? Oh, nope. One more time. Ah. You know what we can do? We can do this and delete it because it's not playing fair. Okay. 5 to the 8th times 7 to the 8th times 7 to the 1st. Now what are we going to do? Well, these have exponents that are the same. So I keep the exponent the same, and I multiply the bases. That's 5 times 7. That would get me something like 35 to the 8th times 7. And this would still all be over 1. Well. This answer here is the only one that matches that. I want you to watch this video again. I want you to look at the exponent rules. I want you to make sure you understand what happens when the bases are the same. What do you do with the exponent? What do you do with the bases and the exponent? When the exponent, the, when the exponents are the same, remember you have to uh, multiply the bases and keep the exponent the same. And how do you deal with negative exponents? And then sort of work through this problem again on how we, the strategies that we did to quickly solve it. Like right away, we knew it had to do with negative exponents, so we put this whole thing over 1 and turned those exponents positive. That helped us eliminate these two answer choices. Then we had to take this 7 to the 9th, and we had to do turn it to 7 to the 8th times 7 to the 1st. Because the bases are the same, I keep the same, now all I need to do is add the exponent, so I know this equals the same thing. Then I fit it back into my equation. 5 to the 8th times 7 to the 8th times 7 to the 1st. And then I use, you know, when the, when the exponents are the same, I multiply the bases. And that's how I got my 35 to the 8th times 7 to the 1st, all over 1. Okay, team, I hope you found this helpful. Check out one of the Harvard Square workshops.